Hey, what's up, guys? This is only post me standoff or only use me pistol. Wait, uh, it's just tough for deluxe. I'm never gonna say that again because I was completely retarded. But today we got a commentary that is again with the, the pistol and on standoff. This is the Cap 40 Extended Mags Lightweight Hardline. You can see it right there. Scavenger, Dexterity, Attack Mask, and good old-fashioned uh, C4. This gameplay starts out a little bit rough. It takes me a little while to kind of get in the groove of only using a pistol, but it was an impressive TDM. I ended up getting an AGR. Almost got a Warthog if it wasn't for me being such an idiot and failing so hard at one point. But uh, that's a, it's pretty cool for, for a TDM game. I don't like TDM just for the fact that it's so hard to get any kind of score streaks. You only get 100 points for each kill, which makes it really hard to stack those points up and get a, a rewarding score streak of any kind. I heard somebody talk the other day, I was watching another video, I can't remember who it is off the top of my head, but they were talking about next time they do this, having a separate score streak set up for just TDM games. Uh, games where you only get minimal score, you could have a kill streak reward system, kind of like they did in the old games. It seems more valid in this type of game. By the time you would be able to get something like a Warthog, it would only take a few kills, or even like a Swarm, something way up there on the score list. By the time you earned that reward, you would it'd be the end of the game because you get two or three kills with it and then TD ends over with it 75 kills so I think that'd be it that'd be a pretty cool idea in my opinion but you can see right now I'm kind of having a hard time getting used to this I start a couple gunfights that aren't in my favor I lose a couple quick draws just because I'm not paying attention uh, I think this is the I only pick up another gun like twice I pick up this and I pick up an SVU later on or XPR one of those snipers but uh, it's it's all 100% my gun and the C4 other than those couple kills Another thing that you'll notice me do quite a few times in this gameplay is that I go, I look at somebody and then I kind of double take at them. And I don't know what was going on with my head that day. It was like my eyes would see it and then my brain would register a second later. Oh yeah, there was a guy there. Hey, watch this. I'm going to try and pick this guy off with a sniper. Definitely out of my range, but I still get the assist. Anyways, I really, really enjoy this game and I really like the secondaries that they came out with. This is the first game in any COD or any pretty much any first person shooter where the secondary gun has really been able to be a standalone gun. It's something that you can use as a class on its own and uh, do well with it, you know? Like the Cap 40s right now, they just got a huge nerf on this past uh, this past update where the range got dropped and the, basically their time to kill got reduced. I think that was meant more to appease the MLG players or the competitive people over in league play because the dual Cap 40s were like the secondary of choice in all those league play teams and all that stuff like that because you could mow people down really really quick in tight quarters you run around with an assault rifle and then switch to your dual cap 40s and you have no problem going through an area like what i'm in right now and that, that's kind of the reason why i'm staying in this building right now you kind of see me running around this little courtyard in this little building area is because this gun while it does have a good fire rate and a good time to kill it does not have very good range it just doesn't it, 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 you all get out killed by just about any other gun in the game as far as range goes but on up close quarters when they're in the same house or in the same room as me I can put them down pretty quick I'd like to apologize if this commentary seems a little bit chopped up I'm playing with the keyboard in my lap <laughs> and it, I keep end up hitting the button that pauses it or stops the recording I know that's kind of an error on my part and it's probably stupid of me to admit that on here but whatever um, Coming up here is that part where I told you I failed pretty hard. You can see me, I start getting uh, pretty carried away with this sniper. I get excited, I get a couple kills, I earn my AGR. And then watch what happens. I throw it, at, try and throw it out the window, and it hits the edge of the window and bounces back in the room. I turn around and look at it like I lost my keys or something, and this guy kills up, comes up and kills me from behind. I was only like a kill or two away from a warthog, and that would have shut the game out. Not like it wasn't, you know, like we were even threatened of losing. We are up by, what, 14 points or something? Well, anyways... Have you guys seen it? You guys probably are aware of the DLC. This is coming up a couple days after it. The camos that they came out with are completely ridiculous. I love a lot of them. We got uh, we got the Party Rock, the Benjamin, uh, just a few of the others. She got the Kawaii one and uh, Day of the Dead. And I think one more, and I can't remember exactly which one it is, but we got a few of them. And those are pretty awesome. I really enjoy them, especially the new reticles that come on the Red Dot sites and the ACOGs and all that stuff. I didn't get the zombie one just because I didn't like the camo, but the the little holographic site on the red dot was probably my favorite one out of all of them I did get the create a class slot which in case you guys didn't know exactly what all that does it gives you so much more just slots you can put everything in I mean your your film library gets updated like 48 slots instead of 10 like it used to be your create a class system the way that it works now it's like you know how you have 10 like I'm prestige master now you have 10 slots for create a classes well, now you have 10 different sets of 10 slots of create a class system. So 
when you're in the lobby before you start the game, you can go into create a class and toggle between all the ones, all the different class setups you have, all the different sets of tin, and pick which one, which set of tin is best for that game type you're about to play. And then you can have tin classes pretty much tailor made for every single game type. And for me, I play Chaos Mosh Pit constantly, so that's a very, very good advantage for me to have ten different class, ten different pick ten system classes. Ten, it's a lot. There's like a hundred freaking class setups that you can go through, and uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna do a little bit of video on that later, but uh, this video, this uh, gameplay is wrapping up, so I guess I'm gonna stop here. But uh, leave a like if you like the gameplay. This is a 20 and 7 with the Cap 40, a AGR and TDM. That's pretty awesome. Uh, subscribe, send me a message if you want to know anything or if you want to just uh, meet up on Xbox Live and, you know, play, bang out some lobbies. I guess this is uh, Toe for Deluxe and I'm out. Oh, it's close to double digits. I got six. I, if I got four more, then...